This is a presentation from Macedon LLC. In this presentation, we'll be demonstrating the production entry for repetitive manufacturing. First thing that we do is go into our Macedon add-on and click on the production entry screen and pull up our production entry input screen. As we can see, this looks very much like a normal SAP Business One screen. We'll give it a reference. Test production. We'll use it for warehouse 01. And we'll key in a part number that we want to produce. As we see, we have a icon here where we could look up the part number. We'll bring up the part, and we will go in and say that we are going to make 50 of this part. If we want to assign this to an employee, we'll pick an employee. Hit tab. And we'll also pick a shift so that we have the shift and we'll use the day shift in this particular case. And we'll record the fact that we use 2.5 hours with no scrap. So that is as simple as it is to go in and key this in. However, if we click on this uh, line right in here beside this, we will see that the component is pulled up. In this particular instance, if we click on the gold arrow, we will see that the 4916-10-36 is composed of a steel rod and it is a manual issue part. The reason that it's a manual issue part, if we drill into the component itself, is that it is a batch controlled part. So the batch control parts, by definition, within SAP Business One are manual issue. We'll go back to the production screen. In this particular case, uh, we need to double click on that quantity and determine which of the lots that we want to go in and use. In this particular case, there are several lot numbers out there and we will just accept the uh, uh, definition from the system which is the first lot number that's available. And that essentially is it. If we wanted to go in and add some components, we could add another component that was not in part of the standard bill of material. We could add it in here at this point in time. If at this point in time we just click the Add button, it asks us if we're sure. That's it. That's all there is to it. Okay, now let's look at what happened when we did that transaction. First we'll go and look at the finished good to go and see its effect. This is the part that we manufactured. If we right click and look at the inventory posting list, we see that 50 pieces have been added on this date. And we can look at the document that is associated with it which is a receipt from production for 50 pieces. This also indicates that there is a production order out there, production order 179, and we can go look at that as well. So what happened behind the scenes was this particular part, 491610-36, a production order was created within SAP Business One for 50 pieces. The component for 17.5 pounds was issued and we can see all of the uh, production order has been closed. So essentially all of the information on that one production screen has become a production order. It has been planned, released, uh, receded in detail and closed. Macedon's Repetitive production entry screen allows for minimal entry of data. 
In a repetitive environment, this is extremely important. It also handles all serial and lock control for both the manufactured part and all of the components. All of the production transaction detail is stored in a user-defined table, which allows crystal reports to be produced. We also allow scrap entry at the same time as item and quantity are entered. We capture the labor hours by employee and shift and can be reported in a crystal report. And we also allow deviations from standard bill of materials. Check us out on www.massadon.com for more details.